Hello everyone, my name is Rachel Hogan and this is my presentation on which refrigerator to buy. I want to start by thanking you all for coming to my presentation. Hopefully after listening to my speech you will be able to buy a refrigerator. I would first like the panel to introduce themselves with their titles. Belinda Corain, I'm a bookkeeper. Gail Keller, retired paralegal and housekeeper. Bill Schultz, paralegal. Thank you. This report is a comparison of three standard top freezer refrigerators. The standard top freezer refrigerator is going to be something that you find typically in every home across America. It doesn't have the bells and whistles. It's just the, uh, the refrigerator and the freezer together. It's the lowest, the lowest priced model refrigerator that you're going to find. Basically, this is where they start when you go to Lowe's or other stores. All right, so you might be wondering what do these refrigerators look like? Well, I have some pictures side by side of three refrigerators that we are comparing. The one that is starred is the winner of my research findings. It is, the one that is starred is the GE model. I'm not going to say the model number, it's right there on uh, the paper for you because I know it's hard to remember. It is the winner of this research project. The original assignment was to do research at various stores and talk to the salespeople about refrigerators, with of course the outcome being a decision as to what refrigerator in this category is the best buy. Well, I first went to Lowe's. There I talked at length to Chris and Sunday. Frigidaire was the refrigerator they both have in their homes. Whirlpool was the best seller at Lowe's. This is the Lowe's in Hammond. However, while I was there, I was able to take a closer look at these refrigerators myself. It became clear to me that the GE model had something that the other two brands did not have. Ease of use. When I went to open the drawers in the Whirlpool fridge, they were not able to easily slide out. I also noticed that the GE model was the only fridge out of the three that has climate control drawers, which I really like. After I got home, I did some more research on the Consumer Reports website. Here is a table that summarizes my findings. Okay, just to go through the table with you guys, the first one is the Whirlpool refrigerator. It's priced at $480. It has a warranty limited of a year, temperature performance, very good, energy efficiency, excellent, noise, good, ease of use. Four. No, no, no. The GE model is next, my favorite. Priced at $539, just a little bit more than the Whirlpool. A warranty that is not limited to one year, which I really like. Temperature performance, very good. Energy efficiency, excellent. Noise, good. Ease of use, fair. Which is the better. Frigidaire is last. Also priced at $539. Warranty limited a year. Temperature performance, good. Not as good as the others. Excellent energy efficiency. Noise, good. Ease of use, poor. So that one is automatically out. As you can see, after looking at the table, the GE model is the best. The price of the GE fridge is $539, which I will safely say is worth every penny. With GE, you know exactly what you are getting. GE will not let you down. That is why they do not limit their product's warranty to one year, which is also visible on the table. So, if you need a refrigerator for your home or rental property, please go with the GE model that I have selected. You will not be disappointed. Thank you for coming to my presentation. I would just like to say that if you want a refrigerator that's going to do the best work for you, go for the GE model because it does have the climate control drawers. It's very easy to use, as I saw. You know, it's got um, the nice interior, in the, in the nice interior with the glass shelves. 
and it's um, it's worth every penny, even if it is a little bit more than the Whirlpool. It's gonna it's going to not let you down. Thank you very much for coming to my uh, research presentation. Good job.